In today's video, we're going to talk about hygiene before and after the match. You know, we are too polite. We don't want to say the name. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do that. Yes, E, excuse me, S E X. We're going to talk about because it's very important. First of all, I want to start by saying this. As a human being, you want to be able to keep yourself clean all the time. You don't want to wait until the match. Let's just say match. Okay, we all know what match is. You don't want to wait until the last moment when you are going to get intimate at night or wherever you think your man needs you or you need your man before getting clean. That's not good. It's not healthy for you. So as a human being, let's start with that. You have to be able to clean yourself all the time. Because you never know. Suppose you have dispute, you know, the night before. And you went, you know, you just want to apologize. And doing that, you know, it's normal. You have feelings. Your man wants you or you want your man. Well, and all of a sudden, the smell is coming all over. The stuff, whoosh, imagine, that's not good at all. So we should be clean. When you are doing it, when you, it, it, it becomes a habit. You know, you don't get tired of it. It's not just the pretty face. No, you want to smell good. You want to feel good. You want to look good. Because when you smell good, when you take care of yourself, everything follows. Oh yes, they all will come together because they are all one family. You will look good. Your look will be good. You will feel good. And when you feel good, you are healthy, isn't it? So, put that in your mind that you have to be clean all the time. So, here's the thing. You know, sometimes we, ladies, sometimes men too, but ladies especially, we have some hair hmm, that we need to keep, you know, for the hair breakage or hair falling, in the name of all those things. And we forget to wash our hair, right? That's not good. It's not healthy for us. And our partner, they need more than that. You know, you can't come you just it's smelling hair or no. Your hair, you need to shampoo or something. You need to do something for your hair to smell good. You need to wash your hair. Maybe if it's every two weeks or whatever. You know better than me. Friends, both parties. This is for equality. Eh? Even hair, some men, they don't like to wash their hair too, both parties. If you know that you have bad breath, waking up in the morning, we all have bad breath. But for you to brush your teeth, because some people just say, I've done things, natural remedies, things like this, and I see have that. It's probably a problem, a sickness, something, a health issue. You probably want to see a dentist or someone. That can help. Because when you come like that, no one wants to kiss you. You can be the best kisser in the world. Your partner will want that. Because we want freshy, fresh. We want nicey, nicey. Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. You have to have bad... No. You have to have good breath. Okay? Yes. That's how it is. That's how it's supposed to be. When you are a lady... You know, this one goes to ladies. You need to wash around your female, around your breast. If you know that your chest is heavy, which it doesn't really matter though. What I'm trying to say is that you need to clean under your, your, your babies, your girls, your breasts. Because it's not only you in this case. It's not only you. So you have to be prepared. Okay? You have to be ready all the time. So, we are continuing. Ladies, please, you have to know how to clean yourself. Because over there, it has to be good all the time. Before I forget, drink water. Both ways, you know, both parties. You need to drink water to keep your queen or your princess ready. Moist, nice, fresh, easy to, you know, what I'm saying. You have to, yes. You also have to know how to clean yourself. When you are washing yourself, you know, you are washing yourself, 
you clean really good don't use any and everything all those you know scented soaps scented everything full of chemical you don't even know how it's made or no you need to stop but what i know that you have to clean it you can't just keep it like that some people say just use water or stuff like that that's not me though you have to keep it clean and wash your underwear take a shower two times a day it applies so for everyone men and women you've been sweating all over you've been doing walking even when you walk, even just by sitting down, not doing anything, we are sweating. You probably don't see it because it's not maybe a lot of sweat, but we are all sweating all the time. So you need to keep your areas clean. This one will go to our husbands or men. You know, when you have your papana, papaya or banana, you know, suppose let's say this is this is it. Please, the head of it, the head, you need to clean it. If you just want to put soap and around it and clean it, do that. Before you ask anybody's child to do whatever with it for you. No, you have to see it. Because this one is for our health. If you are not clean, nobody can do anything with you. You have to be clean. You have to be clean. That is the purpose of it. You have to be clean. You both have to be clean so it can be enjoyable. So it can be together. You know? So it can be together. So it can be great. I assume already your bed is all clean. Your sheets. Everything is all good. Right? Now, when you are done, when you are finished, ladies and gentlemen, do not think you are not clean, especially uh, some of us sometimes. We just feel like, oh, we are not clean. No, the pain. Just run and go pee. I know you probably heard this before, but let me tell you why. You have to do that because it's like when you use the, a toilet, you do number two or, you know, you just pee. You do flush the toilet. Why? Because you don't want it to stay there. You don't want all the rooms or the house to smell, right? It's all similar to this. You want to go pee because you are flashing everything that does not supposed to go, get in there. Even if it's, you use a protector, you use something to protect, you know, during the intimacy, you use something. You don't know all the oil, how the thing is made, or, or everything that you use. So you need to go and pee. And just flash everything and then you can talk about shower if you are too tired you are too lazy you don't want to go shower just do a little bit of you know clean up and the next day you can do the proper shower so before the next day come back to bed don't worry about putting any underwear where well, you will say to me why because why are you going to do that it's time for you to cuddle Yes, you need to cuddle with your partner. You need to hold him. She, she, you know, he needs to do the same. And then you just fall asleep. You know, isn't it? You're just going to be sleeping until, you know, who knows? That's how it is. That will be memorable. It will be great. You see what I'm saying? It will be great. Only... All will be great only if both parties, if you all are clean, if you are all, if you all have good hygiene. About hygiene, me, I'm going to preach about it all the time. Because it's something that is very good for all of us. It is something that we all need to practice every single day, anytime. Don't be tired of taking a shower twice a day. Don't be tired of brushing your teeth and tongue. Don't be tired of, uh, of trimming your hair and the arms. Don't be tired of just doing what you have to do to help you, you know, feel good and stay healthy and stay good for your partner and yourself and the people around you. So that's how it is. After the match, you already know what to do. A little clean up. Not right away, like I said. You need to cuddle, you need to feel yourselves, you need to say stuff to you, you need to remind 
yourselves what you need to do you need to, is the moment to be you know to get there you share things you say sorry about things you, you you talk about stuff you support each other you teach each other stuff if one of your partner is not clean you need to teach your partner what you do with respect it that's the thing that is breaking a lot of couple these days you need to say it but with respect and you need to share or say what you you are correcting about your partner if i'm missing something please let me know in the comment section i will i will be very happy to read because we all need to share our thought we all need to learn i don't know it all i said it all the time you know Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for subscribing because there is more to come. And um, yes, see you next time right here happily, nicely, clean on my next video, Unique Ore. Goodbye.